Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of February 13th, 2019. So let's get right into it. First up we have The Batman Who Laughs, number three of six. Uh, really enjoyed the first two issues of this. Scott Snyder's done an amazing job um, telling this story and with uh, The Batman Who Laughs. Um, and Jock's artwork is just fant fantastic um, with it. So yeah, so I can't wait to dive into issue three. Uh, next up we have Detective Comics number nine. 98, yep, we're getting oh so close to that 1,000 mark. Um, I've really enjoyed Tomasi's uh, run so far on Detective. Can't wait to see what's in store. I'm super excited for issue 1,000. Um, as a side note, issue 1,000, the um, FOC, which is Final Order Cutoff for Detective Comics 1,000, is February 18th, which is Monday. Um, so if you want... Uh, Detective 1000 in your store to order it. Make sure that you let them know which which, which cover you want um, before that date, so they can get the orders placed um, in time. It is about six weeks out, so um, it is a, a little bit more in advance. But let your shop know uh, at con uh, commerceconspiracy.biz. You can head over there. We have uh, sets available of all the 11 covers. Uh, which is the 10 base covers, and then like a blank, the, there's the 10 base covers and the blank cover, um, and also that set I think is about a hundred bucks. Um, and then there's a set with the uh, hardcover celebration of, uh, Bat De of Detective Comics um, hardcover compa companion book that come that uh, is like the one Action had. Um, that's about 130 uh, for that. So head on over to. Cons uh, comicsconspiracy.biz, and you can pre-order it there if you decide to. Let's get right into the next one. Flash, number 64. Uh, this is part two of The Price, so I'm curious to see where this goes. Uh, really great stuff. Williamson's done a great job with the uh, um, just telling the, the, that was the tie-in, or the, the team-up stories with uh, uh, Batman and Flash. The button was amazing, and that was... That was um, um, Tom King and Williams doing it. So, uh, yeah. So, next up we have Gideon Falls, number 11. Um, uh, great. I love Gideon Falls. It's amazing. Jeff Lemire, uh, Sorrentino. Great, great stuff. Next up we have Hawkman, number 9. Uh, Robert Vendetti's done a great job with Hawkman. This series is fantastic. I can't wait to uh, see what happens in this issue. Next up we have Justice League Dark, uh, number 8. Uh, looks like... Everyone's encased in, like, liquid, I don't know, whatever, like, melted liquid or whatever. I don't know, but it's in the shape of uh, Dr. Fate's helmet. Uh, Dr. Fate has kind of become bad. Um, I don't know when that happened, um, but we'll see. Next up, we have Live Wire number three. I enjoyed the first two issues, so I'm curious to see where they take Live Wire. Next up, we have Oblivion Song number 12. This has a really been a really great title from Robert Kirkman. Um with art by, I always butcher his name, uh, Lorenzo De Felici. Um, really cool stuff. If you haven't checked out Oblivion Song, go pick up the first trade. It's good stuff. Next up, we have Red Hood Outlaw, number 31. Um, like I say, Jason Todd is getting into some shenanigans uh, across the Midwest trying to track down some criminal element. Next up, we have uh, Scooby Apocalypse, number 34. Uh, looks like we're celebrating 50 years of Hanna-Barbera here. <coughs> um, Scooby Apocalypse, I think, only has two more issues. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sad to see it go, but I understand uh, why it need, like why they're stopping it. Um, but it did run for a fair amount of time, which I think is good. Um, but a really, really fun, fun story overall. Next up, we have Supergirl number 27. Uh, looks like we got some Mega Men action going on in this one, so I'm really curious to see. Uh, what we get out of that. Uh, next up we have Superman number 8. Um, Jonathan has returned uh, and uh, he keeps looking more and more like Superboy Prime and I don't like it. Uh, they better not bring Superboy Prime back. That would be the worst. Next up we have Titans number 34. Um, yeah, Titans is ending too, so we'll see what happens with that, but uh, it's been okay. I've been enjoying it. Uh, I'm really super excited for this one. It's the Wonder Twins number one. Uh, Mark Russell is writing this. Um, cannot wait to see what he has in store for us with the Wonder Twins. So yeah, uh, check it out if you get a chance. And finally on my pull list is Wonder Woman number 64. 
Uh, Wilson's been doing an okay job on Wonder Woman, but it's not up to it's not at the level that of Rucka or Robinson. Um, so we'll see. But uh, it seems like she's getting her uh, bearings with the character. So I'm curious to see where it goes. <clears throat> I did pick up some variants this week. Uh, first one is for the Batman Who Laughs number three. Thought that was an awesome cover right there. Detective Comics nine nine eight had awesome variant as well. Flash 64. This one's a little weird, like the body looks a little off, but it's okay. Uh, then we have the blank cover for the Flash 64, so I snagged that one up. Gideon Falls had a really good, like, monochrome, chromatic type of cover for its variant, so I picked that one up as well. Shane Davis gave us a nice Hawkman variant, so I picked that one up for number 8. Uh, Red Hood Outlaw 31 had a pretty cool variant. <coughs> Supergirl. Number 27 had a pretty good one. 27? Yeah, it's 27. Uh, Wonder Twins, uh, Dustin Nguyen did this one, so I thought that was pretty cool, so I snagged that one up there. And, of course, <coughs> we have a uh, Art Germ Sideways cover, um, one for Wonder Woman 64. Uh, this is really cool, except they changed the barcode here to go with the direction it would normally go. They changed the text, but they didn't switch the DC logo. Like, DC... Yeah, so not sure how that really works out there. So um, That's pretty much it for what I got single issue-wise. There are a bunch of trades out this week uh, you should check out. Um, I picked up Birthright, number uh, 7, because, uh, yeah, this is how I'm reading it now. Uh, Blood Brothers is the title of this trade. It collects Birthright 31 through 35. Um, so, you know, if you get a chance, check out Birthright. It's really good. So... Um, I'll wait on this one. Uh, the next one is uh, Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. Uh, this continues from uh, the stuff to, from the animated film, so I probably should watch the animated film. Um, but this was like straight to digital and then not released in print and now coming out in trade. So a lot of people might have missed it. So I'm curious to see how good it is. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, Suicide Squad Hell to Pay. Uh, and then the big big one that's released this week um even though it's not a deluxe hardcover which it should have been uh and that is tom king and mr artist's mr miracle uh, the complete collection is in here 1 to 12 uh for mr miracle so if you have not yet checked out mr miracle you need to grab this trade good good stuff um this i picked up a copy not um, for myself, I picked up a copy for, uh, it's a present for my father. It's for his birthday. His birthday was earlier this month, um, and I have yet to see him, but I knew that uh, I normally get him stuff that I think he would like. So, yeah, Mr. Miracle is out in trade. Pick it up from your local shop. It's great, great stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, let DC know that we need the deluxe hardcover of this stat because, uh, yeah, that's what we need. Where's the deluxe hardcover, DC? Come on. So, that's it for this week. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you um, are picking up this week. Um, uh, all that wonderful stuff. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. You can listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy Podcast. We just finished recording episode 388. We talked uh, a little TV, a little comics, a little movie stuff. Um, you know, answer some listener questions. So there'll be a link in the description below for that. So check that out. You can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help us with hosting fees, getting food sometimes, and getting products. So thank you very much to all our Patreon backers. It is much appreciated. Um, yeah, and uh, if you want to help me out more directly, anytime you purchase anything through an Amazon link here or on my website, conspiratorbrock.com, that helps me out as well as heading over to my eBay page and seeing what I'm uh, selling there. That helps me out directly. So thank you to everybody who helps out. It does, um, it does go a, a long way. So uh, that's it for this week, and as usual, I will see you next week.